Hello, Denizens. Disney Star Wars is a popular punching bag here on YouTube, but there are many of you who are tired of our constant complaining about how lost the franchise is. You demand proof, not just the constant quetching of YouTube pop culture pundits. Well, I have come across definitive proof that Disney Star Wars is not just irrelevant, invisible, and moribund. A, a visit to my local supermarket provided a massive Star Wars display at the entrance sponsored by Oreo cookies. This is what they were selling. Do you notice anything? Who do they have front and center? Any of the dozens of new exciting Star Wars characters that Disney has spent hundreds of millions promoting? Wait, I think that's Hu Wang, the droid from Ahsoka in the bottom left. Is that Rey under Leia? Hard to tell. She's not wearing the wraparound outfit. But who are the rest filling up the package? Why, it's characters dating back 47 years ago who are more relevant, more interesting, and more saleable, it seems, than any of the worthless collection of misguided decisions Lucasfilm has made since Disney backed up the Brinks truck into Lucas's driveway. Who else do they have on the package? Hmm, O.G. Han? OG Yoda, OG Leia, OG Droids, OG Obi-Wan, over with Darth, we have OG Darth Maul, OG Emperor, OG Stormtrooper, OG Boba Fett, and that's Kylo Ren, the sympathy selection. Of course, there's the Millennium Falcon. Just two nods to Disney Star Wars, not big enough to give an Oreo fan indigestion. 47! years later, the former Nabisco Cookie Company, now owned by snack food Death Star Mondelez, based in Chicago, an annual revenue of $26.5 billion. With all the money in the world to pick from, the entire stable of Disney Star Wars characters, and they go all in on the OG. What does that tell you about Disney Star Wars? And it's even worse if you remember back to pre-Star Wars, pre Marvel pre-Pixar Disney. Its properties were so popular, they opened Disney stores and malls all over the f***ing world. And they were packed with tourists. How sad is it that Oreo went back to Luke and Vader? Did Disney execs put up any kind of fight? Did they point to the massive success of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at Disney World that became a $300 million write-off in little over a year? Hell, it's so bad Disney has closed its stores. They can't even manage their own legacy characters, which were huge at one point. Hell, they forgot to even mention Walt during their three flaccid months of celebrating Disney's 100th anniversary. Still, no Star Wars fan should be celebrating this package of cum squeezed between two slabs of charred biscuit. While we love the original gang, they've run their course. Not putting Luke, Leia, and Han together for one final glorious send-off in The Force Awakens was the last straw and will go down as one of the stupidest decisions in the history of film. That miscalculation reverberates to this day. And frankly, as far as I'm concerned, I think this Oreo promotion is embarrassing. It feels like a White Snake reunion tour. Was it a way for the Canadian subsidiary to get rid of an overproduction of Oreos ready to go stale dated? I honestly don't know and don't care. What is the point of it? There's no movie to promote. None of the acolyte characters made the cut. I hate to say this as it reflects on the product, but OG Star Wars is as stale as these cookies. As a Star Wars fan, I don't need this. One because of the reasons I've just covered and outlined, and two, I'm 70. I don't want to get onset diabetes. It's just so unbelievably cheesy, don't you think? Not sure young kids are going to run up, grab a bag. Divorced fathers who are shopping with their kid, they have for the weekend, might pick up a package, toss it into the cart filled with microwave-ready dinners, and tell the 18 years of child support hell how important this movie was to them. The Oreo package brings back memories. But I don't need these memories. I'm tired the franchise hasn't been able to get past this. 
what I'm not tired of is supporting my daughter who made this lovely t-shirt. Link in the description below. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you.